Before jumping into today's video, I did want to let you guys know that the vintage drop is at 10 a.m. today. I'm super excited. It's over on LoneFox.com. I have been curating and collecting these pieces over the past couple of months and photographing them, and I got them up on the site for you guys ready to shop, so they are available on LoneFox.com if you're interested. All right, you guys know what time it is. It's time for the flea market. We have Maggie here in LA visiting. Um, and we are headed to the Pasadena flea market, which I actually have never heard or didn't even know this was a thing. First timers. Um, first timers. McKenna actually ended up coming over a couple days ago and said that she was going to Pasadena Antique flea, or Pasadena flea market this weekend. And I was like, oh, I need to go with you. So I think she's gonna meet us here in about 15 minutes. And we're just gonna check it out. We didn't really have much to do today. I posted the kitchen this morning on the channel. And and let's go and see if we can find some items. We have a tuna sandwich. Check out this alabat or I don't know if it's marble or alabaster. Marble? This marble carved lamp base. It needs to be wired, but it's really pretty. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank you. I didn't even know I was gonna win. I didn't prepare a speech. <laughs> and on Grammy Sunday. It's 100% cut down and vintage. It's so cool, but it's a little shiny. Yeah, it's like a wooden jug. Look at that rattan race car. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> What's going on? So the sky is so pretty right now. Look who I casually found at the flea market. I didn't even know she was going to be here. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, we planned it. You guys remember I bought those chunky glasses here. I'm trying to get McKenna to buy some glasses too. But look, they have a green version. It's green, and these ones are so pretty. Faceted. They're actually really cool. Those are very cool. You need those, McKenna. Like if you're gonna have cat decor, have that. Yeah, that's good cat decor. Ooh, these colors are really nice. All right, we found out there was a lot more stuff inside. Ooh, that is pretty, the tile. Drive away, but you could find another victim. It's not your fault to feel this. But way. that's a hat form. Okay, that makes sense. That's the old Victorian, like, you know, world This is so cool. Yeah. 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 Ye
heavy. They're just very large and very slippery. <laughs> Trip was a success, got everything I needed. Make sure to let Drew know if I can be trusted on more solo excursions. All right, Justin is back from Ikea. He went this morning and got the Billy bookcases, which I was very surprised to see that they had Billy bookcases in stock. I frequently check because I love doing projects with these and they never have them. So we were able to get four of them directly from the store and these are just the white ones. And then we also actually got four of the extenders as well because something that I found out, which is absolutely crazy, either side of the door is 63 inches. And guess how wide one of these bookcases is? 31 and a half. So two of them add up to 63, which literally is this exact edge right here. And I don't know how that math worked out, but I hope it works out when we put them together and they both fit in the spot. So let's go ahead and start putting these together. They're pretty simple to assemble, so I don't think it should take too long at all. Sun is setting, we're gonna finish up these Ikea bookshelves tonight and then tomorrow I'm gonna pop back in and share with you guys what they look like, all assembled and put in place. I, I just woke up and I ran into the living room because I wanted to see the shelving in the daylight. It is so beautiful, you guys. Look at this built-in shelving. I cannot believe this is from Ikea. Now, of course, it's still kind of looking like Ikea Billy bookcases. However, over the next couple of videos, we are going to transform these into like custom built-ins that look like they might have always been here. Really gonna make such a focal point in this living room. I want when you like walk in and you turn the corner into the living room to be like, jaw dropping you know what i mean like the ceiling leading into just this is what you first see this focal point here so i think it's going to be so beautiful and i truly just got so lucky with the spacing on either side of the door i mean it's almost like in 1929 they knew i was going to be using two billy bookcases i mean they must have so i actually have a couple different shelf orientations that i want to share with you guys and let me know which in the comments below you guys like the best there's actually only two so we have this one here and we have this one here. Now there's things I like about both, but I am liking this one a lot. But let me share with you guys both. So this side over here, I just kind of evenly spaced the shelves out as many as it came with, and I just kind of, you know, spaced them out as I could. Ooh, it's a little higher right there actually. But then over on this side, what I did was I actually ended up tilting down one of the shelves, this one here. Now, whichever actual kind of orientation I go with, it's going to transfer across all four. I'm gonna do the same exact layout, whether I do this one or whether I do this one on all four bookshelves. That way it looks cohesive and not too choppy in here. I think it's already going to be very busy, so I don't want to make it like shelves and grids and lines absolutely everywhere, but I'm loving this because I have this tilted shelf here, which how I did this was I simply put one of the pegs lower and then the other one I brought it up for, and I want to do these tilted shelves. That way I could put a lip on the bottom and freaking display books like this. How cute is that? I actually originally had this idea to do in the room over there. So I was gonna make that like a little library room and do this kind of tilted front bookshelf. And that way all of my design books, whatever they might be, I can actually have displayed on the shelf like this and you can walk over and flip through them. I just absolutely love that. So I'm gonna do a tilted shelf. Then we have two shelves below that. And then above that, we have this really skinny section, which I also love because I love the idea of kind of just adding some stacked books in here for styling. And then of course the two stained glass windows that I found will be replacing these ones. And I do think at the moment I'm leaning towards this orientation. Something about this has me super excited and I want to transfer it over to the other ones there. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do that now and we can get an idea for it and see kind of the tilted shelf all the way across.
added all the shelves and I love the placement. I think what I'm going to do actually is pre-style these bookshelves before I go in and paint them or before I go in and trim or wood fill any of the holes. I have some pieces that I know for sure are gonna be going in this bookshelf like this little frame here and some other pieces. So I wanna make sure they have spaces to go and then I'll adjust accordingly. And of course I'll make sure to share that with you guys in our next video. I am so excited to get to work on these built-ins. We have some trim work to do, filling of holes, and then we're going to be painting, which painting it and then just having it match the actual wall color, I think is going to be so impactful. I'm going to have the doors actually looked at by someone just to 100% assure that they are sturdy enough. I've already had a couple people tell me that it probably should be fine, but I just want to make sure. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to install those myself or if I might want to have like a professional framer come out and actually install them. So it has insulation on the edges and it's properly done as opposed to me trying to do a first time door install on a very, very main section of the home, you know, like kind of seems a little scary. I might hire out for that one. Let me know what you guys would do, but I will catch you all in my next one. Do not forget to head over to lonefox.com. The vintage drop happened today. So all of the items are live over on the site. And again, guys, there's only one of each thing. So if there's something that you like, make sure to grab it. And you could also browse the site for anything else. I've been working so hard at curating such a fun range of home decor and pieces for you guys. The site is such a fun little endeavor for me. It's something that I could do kind of behind the scenes, which I love because everything else. I really photograph it. I video it. I'm always like in front of the camera for it. So I love having a shop where I'm able to be kind of creative behind the scenes and then share with you guys new products and things I've been finding. So it's been so much fun and I love that I'm doing a vintage drop and I hope that you guys also are enjoying it. So make sure to check out the site. It is lonefox.com and subscribe to my channel for brand new videos every single week on home decor and DIY. Bye guys.